<laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with Gwenpool Mission Number Four: Defying Convention Story for Lego Marvel Super Heroes Two. We're not going to get any of the collectibles in this video. We are going to showcase the story itself, show you how to get through that. We're going to talk about what requirements are needed for this as well. And hey, let's go ahead and jump right into that. In order to go ahead and unlock Mission Number Four, you actually have to complete two other missions scattered throughout Manhattan. First one's going to be Howard the Duck, which uh, you're going to need to find him and help him with his quack starter campaign. That's right. And once you complete that, you're actually going to have to return to Manhattan and complete a mission for the Four Bush Man. Now, these are both found in our Manhattan Free Roam videos. You can see the Four Bush Man happens to be mission number eight. And I do believe mission number two was the uh, Howard the Duck one. But you'll have to go ahead and check those quick links in our Manhattan Free Roam video to see if we'll show. Now, once you got both of those, you're going to return once again to Manhattan and get your way all the way across the street from the park. And look at that. We're going to have to go ahead and find that red halo. Or you can always just use the fast travel to the Gwenpool mission option as well. And hop into that pink halo and away we go. As you might remember, old Gwenpool usually leads us into the story and kind of tells us what's going on. Now, it is important to know, too, you do not have to purchase the Howard the Duck and the Four Bushman character tokens as they will become available in the story. So, hey, shh, hmm. Gwenny, what you got for us? <laughs> Welcome back, O oh seekers of the pink bricks. Fame. She can be a cruel and fickle mistress. And my pal, Howard the Duck, is aware of that more than most today. He's not feeling the love from his fellow man for all his saving the day heroic do-goodery. I mean, that's not why he does it. But a pat on the back every now and again wouldn't hurt. What Howard needs to get people talking about him is a full tilt, immersive, genre defining, massively multiplayer online video game with his beak on the cover! As luck would have it, there's a games con going on just the other side of the park. Exactly the place to pitch a Howard multi platform title! Ah, teeny problem. The Access All Areas passes for the convention sold out months ago, dude. You'll have to use some of your quack foo ingenuity to get past those lines and pitch your game idea to the panel. The guy next to Howard seems to want to help. Who is he? Let me check one sec. Four Bushman? Even I ain't never heard of this guy. I'm wondering if he's after his own game, too. That might be stretching things a little. But what do I know? If he can help Howard, then he's okay by me. Sweet deal. We get to go to E3. Or is it PAX? Or is it uh, something else? I don't know. It's definitely some sort of a convention. That's right. So if you've never been to one, you're going to get a little sample of what it's kind of like. Although I will say it's got a lot of the elements here. There's a panel there. There's some speakers. There's some party elements. There's all sorts of booths. It's quite similar. However, it's not nearly as packed as you would expect it to be. So... Uh, here we are. We're actually finding ourselves in control of the Four Bushman and Howard the Duck, as promised. And we need to find our way inside. So we got to create some sort of a distraction. And look at that. Without even lifting a finger, we actually already get that true believer stud requirement, which, look at that. We already got three million. With that multiplier, it's hard not to rack up them studs. Now, basically, what we got to do here is destroy everything in sight. There are a ton of items to smash. And then you'll get a few items to build. Now, it is important important to take out those tall gray or black cases. They look like some sort of comic book case or something. Once you get all those along with everything else, you should get a brick build moment here. And look at me, I took a little second here to rock the guitar. That's right, I was unaware that Howard the Duck was a musical character, so I went ahead and played a few chords there. So we go ahead and build up all those bricks and check it out. We actually have ourselves a little techno panel. And once we spam that button, and we have to fill that meter. We have to, I guess the depleter doesn't work work, huh? Uh, we have to figure out another word that rhymes with that. But we got to fill up that meter all the way, and all of a sudden it makes an announcement that Tony Stark is downstairs signing autographs. So everyone goes running, and it clears a path for us inside the main hall here. But hey, before making your way in there, sneak into the side door and grab that couple of bluesies and that purple twosie, and then we can make our way into the actual con here. 
know, it does give a cinematic pan and kind of scrolls around the room and gives us a few points of interest. We're actually going to want to start with this Iron Man or the Hulk Buster suit on the left hand side. We're going to shoot down the frame and it's going to look at that. He's going to bow down. That's right. Bow down to Howard the Duck. Watch this. You guys were not expecting this. We're actually going to get a cameo appearance here of Darkwing Duck. No, I'm just kidding. It's not Darkwing Duck. It is. Well, it looks like uh, Iron. Well, I, do they actually give him a thing? I don't remember if they gave him a name or not, but uh, Howard the Duck Iron Man suit. It's pretty pretty awesome. But what it's going to do is actually going to give us extra hops. It's kind of a weird addition to our already sweet arsenal of awesome. But it's not going to give us anything too out of the ordinary. But the hops actually allow us to get up onto that handheld and reach the high left side, where we can go ahead and bust a few things down below and actually reveal that there are some buildable bricks up top on the high right side as well. But we drop back down and actually smash those gold speakers. And look at that, we're gonna build all those gold ones into one regular one, that seems like a downgrade. But as it turns out, it also gives us a few other bricks that we can build a power line over to a, some sort of a power terminal over here. And look at that, we can jump up and pull that terminal down and... All right, it's not really a techno panel, but we're getting our... on. Basically, it gives us some uh, really high-powered frequency waves there that we can actually ride upstairs. So switch on over to Four Bush Man and get up top and build those bouncing bricks into a push switch. Go ahead and push it from the green side, not the red, that's right. It's got red on it, but we don't want to go that way. Look at that, spin to win all the way around. Move that Captain America poster over, revealing that banner, and also giving us access to that. Uh, we can now destroy that Captain America poster on the wall, which reveals a spot that we can actually throw some sort of a staff in there. And luckily for us, Howard the Duck in his special costume has just what we need. So melt the old hand of, what is it, the glove of Thanos, right? And uh, I'm not sure really what that does other than gives us access to, uh, I guess, I don't know. I'm not sure if we really need to melt that down or not, but we do need to take out the big sign up top. And as I already mentioned, it reveals a spot we can actually place some sort of a pole. And we got that. We actually throw our antenna pole. Watch this. Pew! Now we can go ahead and jump across, but not before building up these bricks and giving us a nice little ramp to help get over there. Gives us that extra little bounce. And look at this. Spin to win. Jump across and get your beep bubble beep on. Or I guess it's more of a ns, 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 ns. techno panel. Go ahead and fill that up. And it should power up that device down below. Oh, look at that. And it ruins all those arcade cabinets. Gwenpool's like, what's going on? I'm not sure, Gwenny. I'd get out of there, though. Looks like all the rest of those guys remain some sort of casualty down there. Ah, that's too bad. All right, we're going to build up those remaining bricks into a mega cabinet. Look at that. It happens to be Howard the Duck, the video game. I don't know about you guys, but I would totally play this. Well, I would play it until I actually put a quarter in and got to play it. This game is a little on the lame side. So I missed the first egg because splat. I guess you don't really lose anything for missing them, but essentially what you got to do here is catch 10 eggs. It kind of goes through the levels of Chronopolis here. As you can see, there's Hydra Empire. We already saw Ancient Egypt. There's Medieval England. So there's definitely a lot of references here. However, instead of showing you all of them, it kind of repeats the process unless I'm missing something. So we'll go ahead and check off all those. Maybe these are just the worlds that Howard is relevant to. I'm not sure. I don't know that there's any connection between any of these but look at that we got all 10 and Gwenny take us away yes folks it really is that easy to get a game made if you happen to be a duck in a time locked city that is sure they all look happy now but what about when they get 100 percent what then does the game have any super bonus brick gathering bonus adventures no you'll need a day one patch my friend and sharpish just don't let old Panhead near it. I think he's struggling with actual reality. Never mind the virtual kind. What am I saying? Howard's game has got Howard in it. He doesn't need anything else. Give me a copy. Let me through. Howard the Duck. Ooh, he don't give a 
Oh, whoops. Uh, hey, who's out there actually has seen that movie, Howard the Duck, from 1986? You know, the wife and I were talking about it, and I told her I wanted to watch it with Reese, and she said, no, it says bad words in it. And I thought, God, maybe it does. So I went and looked it up on IMDb, and it turns out it's PG. So probably no bad words in there. However, it may not be the most appropriate for all ages. But that being said, Reese and I are totally going to watch it in the next couple of days because, well, we want to. And there's going to be some more appearances, and I think they're going to bring Howard the Duck back. I could be wrong on that, but I think we're going to see a lot more Howard the Duck in the MCU. So, anyhow, we missed the opportunity to get that pink brick as well as Free Lee, and we'll come back and get that character token in our free play. Hey, who's tired of that? Is anybody tired of that, or everybody still like that? Anyways, all right, that's going to wrap it up for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 Gwenpool Mission Number 4, Defying Conventions, where we got to go in and check out what a con is like. Oh, by the way, it was story, so we didn't get any of those collectibles, but we'll be back shortly. As you guys know, we've been busting out the free plays quite a bit uh, more rapidly than usual, but uh, hey, that being said, that's going to wrap it up for me. As always, until next time, see ya!